Hey yo mga Toysters, we will now be unboxing Battle Damage Deku and this gives me Spider-Man vibes so here we go when My Hero Academia first came out Deku was known as the Green Naruto and initially talaga magiging powerless siya no, all throughout the series but Horikoshi received uh, tips from the editors na bigyan ng power si Deku and you can also check out My Hero. This is a one-shot manga of Horikoshi then, wherein he got inspired to do My Hero Academia. And madaming madaming siyang ginawang uh, manga, no? And unfortunately, a lot of them are failures. And when I say failures, hindi nag-boom, no? Hindi sumikat. And then one day, he thought of redoing My Hero and revising some of the stories. At ayun na nga. My Hero Academia was born. So the name Deku is more of an insult. It refers to a wooden figure or puppet which cannot do anything. And in Japan, Izuku can be read as Deku as well. So kung insult to, bakit nga ba kinuha ni Deku ang pangalan na yun, no? It's because of Ochako. Ochako said Deku gives off a feeling of, I can do it. So in Japan, it says uh, Ganbaru. Or to be able to do, meaning uh, Dekiru. So Dekiru, parang Deku. So in niya na as his hero name. And spoilers alert sa mga hindi na nagbabasa ng manga. The last few chapters, no? It reminds me of Harry Potter. Yung mga last books. Wherein umalis na siya sa UA. No? Para maprotekta ng friends siya. And to do secret missions. And also to protect his identity. No, his quirk is listed as uh, superpower instead of one for all. Kasi nga naman maliling siya kay All Might. And ngayon na nga no, sa manga, malapit na magharap si One for All and All for One. And I hope we we see all his quirks. No, yung mga quirks ng predecessor niya na lumabas at gamitin niya. So here he is, Battle Damage Deku. In yung bunny ears niya, no, resembles yung hair ni All Might. Kaya niya dinesign na ganyan yan. So, what do you think of My Hero Academia? Does it deserve to be in the big three of the new generation of anime? Comment down below and see you next time, mga Toysers.